Well, Dave, congratulations. Um, were you worried that goal was never coming today? Um, I suppose you worry a little bit the longer it gets. Um, but we've been involved in football an awful long time. We know that whether it's one break, one moment of luck, one moment of quality can get you a, can get you a goal. I suppose the longer it goes and the manner of the game in terms of opportunities we had and what that looked like, there's always some doubt creeps in. But thankfully, um, that doubt was... Um, I suppose put right with the fact that we get a, we get a goal in the time. You obviously deserve to win 20 attempts on goal in the game, I think 11 corners to their two, I think they had two shots on target. I mean obviously you deserve to win the game statistically, but you need somebody like Paddy Madden at times like that, don't you? But having said that, he'd had one cleared off the line by Nick Powell, he missed the penalty, um, but he, he took his goal really well. Yeah, I didn't see it, I've just watched well, it back, um, it's a great strike. Uh, and. Uh, we'd had other things like that. The keepers made some good saves. Yeah. The save Molding is a great save, better than what we thought on the, at, the, at the time. Um, and we've had deflections that haven't gone in our favour. Thankfully, that one's hit no one and gone in. Um, I wouldn't have been too bothered if someone had gone in the opposite corner, to be, to be fair. That was that type of game, and we got to that point where we needed to put the ball forward. We've kept it in there, um, got a break, and got, like I say, a, des a deserved win based on territory based on possession based on chances um we had the same i suppose scenario last weekend before last last time we were here um against swindon and didn't i didn't do that so it was important we won and we had them was there a change in approach today i mean obviously you went with the back four which has changed straight away but you seem to be more direct you've picked kyle today and you've gone you've played to him you've used ben to fire the ball to him is that was that that was deliberate presumably yeah we, we, we were back four um we, we, they've been three five two for for, yeah. for a long time, and pretty much all season. They changed to a four if they're chasing the game. Um, they played three four three against us down there. Their place they've changed again today and gone three four three. So our our shape was always going to be um, a back three um, with Miles as a right wing back and Ethan Bristow as a left wing back. Um, try to overload the middle of the pitch. Play Paddy, I suppose, on the same line as Woods, yeah. almost a, as a almost as a 10, almost a diamond a little bit and pose questions to their wide centre-backs. Um, obviously, they're out of possession. What we try and be is a plus one on the back line. So they're leaving three up. We will naturally tuck Cass back in um, and Ethan. So sometimes it will look like it look like a four. Yeah. Um, but you have to, I suppose, look at what their strengths are. And they're statistically the best pressing team in the, in the league. They have right. more, more high turnovers than any other team. Yeah. I think they've got 350 over the course of the season. And the second best is... 270, 80, so a significant difference. Right. So they press really well high up the pitch. And whether that's teams thinking that they're going to be able to play out against them comfortably, um, we want to obviously try and take one of their strengths away. Um, so we set up to play, but with always the thought process of playing beyond that, certainly early on, um, and trying to get ourselves 5v5 at the top end of the pitch, and in some instances 5v6. Um, and play the game in their half and build in their half where you do take their, I suppose, a little bit their their strength away. Yeah. Um, oh, we did that okay. The, the problem we had is that we turned the ball over far too often. We gave the ball away really, really poorly with the look at the quality we have in our, with our team. And we spoke about, like I say, short to play long, but then building in that final or attacking half. We didn't build enough. We tried to play killer passes far too often. That resulted in them being able to, what people would call, manage the game. People are managing the game differently now. And again, that's another another gripe that, uh, again, I get off my chest now. I, I, I used to start with a directive at the start of the season that says, <clears throat> put on lots of injury time and stop time wasting, and then get sent a directive in September that says, stop doing it now. We're sick, we're sick of seeing eight and nine minutes injury time is ridiculous. Um, there's no way that game in the first half should have seen two minutes of added time. Um, and that's something that the authorities need to look at. They've gone from wanting a specific ball in play time on the pitch. Well, guess what? Everyone who is involved in football come up with ways of managing that, yeah, shall we say? Yeah. So the way of managing that now is to take an age on a goal kick, is to get players to split as if you're going to look to play out and then not play out. There's there's so many different things that, that people will try. Um, the powers not being need to get on top of that because the game now is different than what it was three months ago, and that's solely due to officiating. They say goals change games. 
that goal feels like it's changed the mood a little bit. You're going to Salford now on Thursday. Do you feel more confident going there now? Um, everyone's asked me this. I, uh, no, not for me. Uh, I think this group is, is good at moving on from the previous game to the next game. And yeah. that is a, a good thing when things don't go well. And maybe not so good a thing when things do go well. Because you should go there in a, in a, in a different space. But it's a different challenge. So we've, we've won today. Great. Um, we'll celebrate that in terms of looking at things that went well and looking at things that we need to improve um, and Thursday's a, a different game a different challenge away from home uh, against a different team um, on a different pitch um, and we need to go there and do what it takes to do what it takes to win there'll be a there'll be a different um, game plan in terms of what it looks like um, we'll have to look at how people are and if we need to potentially rotate things to give them different problems then we look we look at that but um, every game pretty much since the start of the season has been the next one and that's not going to change we have 11 to go Salford's the next one it's the most important once that's out of the way we'll look to Crawley which will, again that will become the most important Ethan Pye first start since New Year's Day done really well today Callum Camp's back got some minutes in his legs in the second half um, still got eight in the treatment room any of those likely to, to come out before Thursday or not? No not before Thursday I wouldn't think um, possibly Crawley maybe maybe Crossy depending on how he is but probably the the I think MK Dong's here maybe on the on the Saturday for him. Um and then more towards April for the for the others that are are gonna be back before the season season ends, fingers crossed, which will be Will Aki and, and, and Louis. Um no major ill effects from the game uh, today. Powerly feeling feeling little little bits like say Ethan come back and um played ninety minutes. Um Apart from that, Campsy, um, again, fingers crossed, fine. He's got his first minutes into him and we'll hope to increase in, uh, his minutes and give have him as an option for us over the, um, the upcoming games. Um, and, but listen, the big thing for us is we don't lose anymore. Um, so that's where our focus has to be. And just finally, Dave, I know uh, your programme notes were good today. I thought the fans reacted to that as well. You said 12 to play still everything to play for and, and they reacted today and they were still singing when that goal went in yeah listen we've got four here haven't we so we, we've got to we've got to take advantage of that as best as we can and everyone plays that plays the part like I said I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go away from um, my thought process that we and I, I use we as the collective with the players are, are responsible for making sure they enjoy it as much as possible but Unless, as I've said before, unless we're two and three and up after 45 minutes, I'm not sure many of the games between now and the end of the season are going to be what you'd call enjoyable. Um, but we know that if we do things right um, and we get the results that we want, the enjoyable bit will be after that. I think tonight might be enjoyable. Well done. Top match. Thank you. Cheers, Dave. Thanks, All the best. See you in a bit.